In this lecture, I'm going to break down what our costs will be for an entire year's worth of hosting on AWS while taking advantage of the free tier rates. You'll see how you'll be able to run your application at a very affordable rate while still taking advantage of AWS's high resiliency and time-saving services. Amazon's free tier is awesome. If you're a new customer to AWS, then you'll get one year's worth of set resources for free. Some of the services even offer free amounts of usage forever, and then you only pay some amount if you go over that. Okay, so the first thing that we can do is remove one of the EC2 instances. And that's because the free tier gives you 750 hours a month on a single T2 micro instance. Since we want to run three total, now we only have to pay for two. Then we can knock out the cost of the ELB because we get it for free. Then we have Amazon ECR. And if you're just tuning in, that's Amazon's Docker registry service. The free tier gives us up to 500 megabytes of storage per month for free. I'm not sure why the storage is so little because most projects will be over that cap from just one image, but the overall cost is quite low, so let's just leave it be at 20 cents. Then for both RDS and Elasticash, we get a T2 micro instance for free. So I'll just set those over to zero. And in RDS's case, we actually get 20 gigs of storage for free. Then there's S3, where you get 5 gigs of storage per month for free, and more than enough requests for most use cases. I'll just leave it as is for now, because we're only talking about 4 cents. Just understand that you'll actually get higher rates than what's listed here. There's some other advantages here too, that we haven't talked about in this course. There's Amazon CloudWatch, and CloudWatch's free tier lasts forever, as long as you adhere to their limits. CloudWatch is a pretty complicated beast, so it won't be covered in this course, but it's something you would use for logging, metrics, and alerts. You can create your own custom dashboards to monitor your application. Another service that we didn't talk about is Amazon SES. Like CloudWatch, it also has a free tier that doesn't expire after a year. You can send out 62,000 emails a month using it, and as long as your emails originated from an EC2 instance, then it's free. This is super handy if your application sends out a lot of email. Take a look at our bill now. It's only about $21 a month, which is about the same as DigitalOcean, except now we have a highly scalable solution at our fingertips for an entire year. This is a very reasonable price point to test and see what your app will do in a year's time. You can review all of Amazon's free tier offerings at this web address. That's all I have for you on pricing things out on AWS. I hope you enjoyed this section because I had a really good time making it. Hopefully AWS does a price drop soon, which will make it even cheaper once you've used up your free tier. But after going over everything, an extra $50 a month is probably worth avoiding the headaches of having to roll your own solutions especially because this price difference only happens after a year of operations. Hopefully your web business generated enough profits that you won't be sweating the higher price tag. I'll see you in the next section for the main event, which is where we'll deploy everything to production using Amazon ECS.